That is the sound of the jar of names. Shall we find a name? Let's find a name. I've got a name. This podcast is for everyone, including but not excluded to Nick Pro. Haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Where you been? Anyway, Santa JD is here. He's wearing his Christmas hat like last year. Last year? Like last episode. Still haven't found one for myself. I'm borrowing purple cookies at the moment and it's a little bit small. And I haven't found one for myself yet. I don't know where to get them. I'm tempted to just get one on mine and see if it gets here in time. But no, my luck, it will get here on like New Year's Day. Bit late if it does. Anyway, I ramble on. What are we talking about? Well, yes. First off, here is a cup of tea. And here is the podcast. So, welcome. Right. Uh, yes. What are we talking about today, then? Well, if you go down to my first comment, which it should be there. I'm going to try and keep on top of it now. Uh, I'll explain in a second. Uh, it's a skip list. And my first comment, you can skip to update to this week's topic, to this week's book club, to this week's goals as well. Uh, yeah, I meant about the logos. I've done the logos for the podcast, but we'll talk more about that later in the coals. Coals? Goals. Pocket. I say coals because it's related to Christmas with Scrooge and stuff like that. Anyway, update first. Right, so what's going on? Uh, now, so I'll put down next week. What's happening next week? Oh, yes, next week is uh, half is half term. It's holiday, which means I'm off from college, which means I can focus on the videos, which I'm looking f- so forward to. I'm going to do so much stuff. Uh, I'm hoping it will happen. I hope it, hopefully I won't get, like, a, you know, disheartened, just, like, not doing anything. Hopefully I will be good, not lazy, and just get everything done, which is my plan. So stay tuned. Next podcast is probably going to outline my big plans. Although there is going to be one thing that happens before the next podcast. On Sunday, this Sunday, the 20th of December, I'm going to re- announce what this dark cloud thing is. I'm going to ask for your like opinions and your things to help plan for this thing that I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, come back on the 20th uh, and check that one out. It'll be a big video saying... Uh, it's like a reveal. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but uh, it's going to say some stuff. Uh, yes, and what else is going to happen? Uh, that's probably about it, but obviously these big things happened after next week, so I'll talk more about them later. But yeah, things are going to happen. Uh, I am a little bit behind as well, but we'll talk about that later in, in the goals. Uh, right, what's happening? Uh, topic now. Right, so let's go off this week's names. So I should have caught up last week. I said I was last week's sort of schedule was a little bit mucked up, but this week's schedule should be fine, assuming everything goes according to plan. But today we have the podcast, which is what you're listening to right now. And the latest t- today, oh my hat is jingling. It's got one of those, you know, the bauble bit at the back. Anyway, yes, and then later today we've also got Harvest Moon, which is called Tale of Winter, which is episode 100. We broke into three digits of Harvest Moon. Hopefully we finish it in 50 episodes time, because that's my goal. Uh, yes, Tale of Winter. It's slightly, a s- s- slightly different from a normal structure of what I do for Harvest Moon. This is more like, I read it as like a tale of narrating, like I narrate it, as if I'm reading a story, which is a tale of winter, which I suppose actually works out quite well doing it for episode 100, it's like a special thing. I don't think it works, I feel like it's too too calm and too, there's no sort of emotion, emotive language or emotion in it, it's more like, he was walking along the road, it was a long road. See, which I know sounds quite good if you do it for a few, few seconds, but for, I think for a full 30 minute episode it's a bit too much. Well, that's what I felt anyway, but check it out, let me know what you think. That's later today, and that's episode 100. Whoop. Uh, and then later tomorrow we have a Bioshock episode uh, called Weeping Angels, which I think is the best title I've had so far. Uh, maybe one of the best titles, then, one of the best titles. But Weeping Angels is what it's called, because basically the Weeping Angels are in it from Doctor Who. It's, I was I was gonna go with the uh, the fort theme, but I thought I just had to go with Weeping Angels because it just fits the episode so perfectly, and that's why I did that. Wednesday we have another title for Harvest Moon, which has something to do with winter. It doesn't say winter, it says frozen rice, which is still related to winter and Christmas and stuff. So that's why I kept it. But frozen rice is the title, and then oh, what happens in that rice, which is something that Dragon Lord five 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 one one suggested. He said to buy some rice, which I did. I was gonna do anyway. But I, I set myself a... I'm looking away. I set myself a day for when I'm getting the rice, and it was this day. And then Thursday, we've got more Bioshock, and it's called The Final Curtain, because it's the last one we have in Fort Frolic. And then that is it, and apart from Friday's episode, which is Working Through Winter, which is what was one of the episodes we're going to be called last week, which was that Winter Apocalypse one, for that uh, Winter Apocalypse. <laughs> it's a bit scary. No, the Winter Eclipse one, but because that went... Uh, terribly wrong. I decided to do it differently, and then I'm just using this title, Working Through Winter, for this episode, and then nothing happens. It's not interesting. But yes, and then there's also that reveal slash introduction video 
for the Sunday thing, which is going to be about the Dark Cloud, which we'll find out. Well, that is on Sunday, so come back on the 20th. It's big, like it. <clears throat> I'm actually not 100% sure I can do it yet. I need to test it out first, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. I'm going to find out soon. And that's that. Right, also after that, it is... I forgot my list. Uh, topics? It's still on the topics. It's Book Club. Right, so Book Club. There's two things I want to talk about this week. I'm still reading Sharp's Trafalgar. They've got to the actual fight now. It's starting to get really good. The... I like the ship battles, but they are going a bit too fast. It's, it's, so obviously yeah, they do happen fast, but yeah, like I said, they were the good parts. It's the best fights in all of the sharp books so far. It's still true, but they are not perfect still. They're still a little bit, you know, bitter. What's it called? Uh, a bit too fast at the moment, which is the contradiction to the other one, which is too slow. So it's a bit, <laughs> a bit of a contradiction there. A contradiction, a bit of a, uh, what's the word? Two different things, two drastically different, I'm going to say, because that's close enough uh what else uh it's pretty good yes um pretty sure that my theory about one person that's going to die is going to die uh if it hasn't happened already i think it's about to it hasn't said it has it hinted at it's happening so it might have happened but i'm not sure it's happened yet but i think it will happen uh i can't really say much more because that's spoiling the book uh yes and then something else i want to talk about is bernard cornwall the author of the sharp series now apparently i've been told uh, i think i said this before that all the bernard cornwall novels at least some of them most of them uh, is like one big family, connected family. Like everybody in every every hero in each story is connected in the same family. Obviously, throughout history, so it's different. So, which I really like the idea. Of. That's what sort of got me into these books. Don't, I don't think it ever mentions it in the actual books that this is a thing. But if it's true, it's just oh, it's just that little sort of underlying sort of thing that sort of oh, it draws me in so much. Like it twigs my Assassin's Creed side of my brain, which I'm like yes more of please but I can't find this anywhere online I've only heard from word of mouth from someone else but I can't find this if this is true or not online but if it's true it's amazing and obviously I've got a long way to go and the reason why I'm saying that is because there's a book series that was made into a TV series called The Last Kingdom which I absolutely love uh, it's finished now uh, and oh it's just so good and it's like if if this if this guy's related to Sharp who I'm reading in my book right now it's just like oh that just tweaks my brain as to like yes love it perfect right let's move on then because it's probably going on for too long but let's go on to community. Mention Monday. Not many this week, actually. There was a lot of comments, but uh, not too much of the variety of comments, should we say? Yeah, because there's only three people on this week's Mention Monday, but we'll go through them now. Uh, so we've got on this week's Mention Monday, we have a box of Kittens 77, Horia, and Dragon Lord 55511. And we also had uh, 4K Warrior Man was still out there. And uh, Nick Pro on a different account is still out there as well, but they commented on last week, last week's videos. Uh, but this week, they were, it's, it's complicated. They commented on last week's, last week's videos this week, which means they don't get in the Mention Monday, because Mention Monday is only this week's videos. But they're still out there. They're still alive. 40k Warrior Man is catching up, though. That is his goal at the moment. Yes, so thank you for commenting anyway, you guys. It's nice to see you around, especially Box of Kittens 77. I like it when you show your face. What is next, then? Uh, it is... Q&A. Right, no question from Dragonlord555, for reasons we will outline later, but we have a riddle from Horia, which is on a different episode, but uh, I missed it last week because it was like just just at the cusp of when I recorded, and just after I recorded, so it wasn't in last week's podcast, but I'll put it in now. But Horia says, I know this is late, but I have a riddle for you this week. What is a four-letter word, but must be written with three, although does include eight letters? A moron needs five letters, but wise man requires seven. Do you know what? I have no flipping idea. A four-letter word written with three letters. So one of them is used twice, although it does include eight letters. So there's the same word, but it's spelt two different times, two different ways. So it's like two different synonyms, is that what it's called? Uh, and a, a very basic one is has five letters, but wise men requires seven Right, okay, Moron has five letters. So five letters are in Moron. Wise Men has seven letters. And Moron needs five letters. But why? Right, okay, so that last part. One, oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the... <clears throat> okay. Oh my god, I just solved it. I've just solved it. <laughs> okay, so let me walk you through it. First off, it says, um, what is a four-letter word? Well, first off, word is a four-letter word. So it has four letters in it. But then it goes to saying, but must be written with three. 
So they're saying but must be written with three letters, B-U-T. Although does include eight letters. So although has, <clears throat> has eight letters. A moron needs five. It's five letters long. Moron is. and But wise man is seven letters long. So I could say any four letter word such as what, word, need, wise. Yeah, I think I've solved it. I think it's the first riddle I've sold from you, Horia. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that one. Right, what's next then? Uh, on the Q and A, uh, it is subscribers. Uh, we've gone down two subscribers. We've gone down to one thousand and ninety-nine. We were at one thousand one hundred and one, and we've gone down two, which is a sad tale to say. But it means we get to go up to one thousand one hundred again, and I'm sure that will happen this Sunday or maybe next week when it actually happens. Uh, but yes, we have one subscriber this week from called Christian Olson. So welcome to the team. If you got that riddle as well, let me know on a piece of paper and send it to me via pigeon. Okay, what's next? Um, after oh, I keep got my piece of paper. It is question. Right, last week's question was, uh, do you know what this dark cloud thing is? No one knew what it was. Box of Kid in 77 was interested, but did not know what it was. Uh, but yes, uh, this week's question is sort of related. It's not really related. It's more related to things in general. But I'm thinking of starting this trend with my videos, where as the hero, if I can name the hero, it's going to be called something JD. Like, Harvest Moon, it's Farmer JD. In the Fallout videos I plan to do in the future, it's it's going probably going to be either... I think mean, it's going to be Dweller JD, because it's like Vault Dweller. It's going to be Dweller JD. And there's like loads of other things as well. Um, this next one I'm doing as well can sort of be affected by this rule. Uh, this is the video series that I'm going to be starting quite soon, uh, which is related to Dark Cloud. But I'll talk more about that on Friday and Saturday on that video, because that's what, what I need to know. Uh, so... Basically, yeah. Do you think that's a good idea? Oh. Like, say, for example, if I'm playing Skyrim, uh, it will be either Nord JD or Khajiit JD or something like that. I'm thinking of that's a nice trend. I'm not sure about those ones, but definitely with the, with the Dweller JD and the Farmer JD, I think those all those quite fit. So what do you think? Do you think that's a good thing to do? Start doing that for some games? Obviously, the possibilities are endless. Like some games I can't do it, like Bioshock, it's, the person's called Jack, but I am. No, I just take control of Jack, you know, it's different. But things where I can name my character, or at least sub sort of name my character. Like, let's pick a game. Um, Fable. Think of Fable, where you can choose, you get a different name given in the game. Like, you can change it, like a hero name. Like, I think Avatar is one of them. But I could be called Avatar JD, because, you know, I like that. Because I could be like an Avatar type person with a bold head and a beard and like airbender sort of thing. Even though I won't be, but that's the sort of thing I'm going for. So let me know what you think about that theory. A theory, that idea, because I think I, I quite like it. I'm not sure how it could work with some things, but we'll see on that Sunday video as well, because it's related to that. We'll find out then what it is, but we'll, we'll find out. Right, this week's comment belongs to Dragonlord55511, who, sorry, horror, who says, uh, your guess is correct, blah, blah, blah. The answer is brain. Also, just wants to let me know, he's not going to be here for a couple of weeks, as he's going to be my last comment for a week until he returns. That is why this week's comment, because that is sad. Mr. Mr. Mad Lord of Dragons, he's not going to be here. Which is very sad because I'm going to be doing some big things, especially with that Sunday thing. You're going to miss it, but hopefully you'll like it when you come back. But I'll miss you, mate. I'll see you later. Anyway, I want to say uh, well done. Oh, not well done. Um, good effort to 40k or 40k Roma to Horia because you were trying so hard. I noticed it this week. You were trying so hard to get this week's comment of the week because I just saw loads of things where it would have been because you like did so many on different videos. But it just didn't happen. But yeah. I tell you what, the one that I liked, Horia, was the one where you said about, uh, I don't blame the, the Big Daddy for starting a fight with me because I shot him when I ran around the corner. He was coming at me with a weapon. It's like like the guards in Skyrim say, guard could get nervous. A person approaches with their weapon drawn. Exactly. It's not very good. It's the Big Daddy's fault. It's not mine. Anyway, this week's goals. So last week's goals were to do logos, I think, and something else. Um, set up. Yes, basically to get... Oh no, I didn't say what I'm going to do last week. Basically, the thing I was going to try and do with the logos, I did sort of start... I have made them all now, which is the hard part. I need to update them all, which is finding the time to do that. Like, I've run out of time, of free time, um, to do the logos. But I managed to get the... A cup of... Not a cup of... Uh, words. I managed to get the podcast logos done. So this podcast should have a logo, because that's all ready to go. It's just the Let's Play videos I need to add, which I'll do... Thursday, maybe because that's when all my assignments are done. I'm on holiday then, not from work, but holiday from college, so I'll be able to do them then. So that's my goal, probably do them then. At the moment, I'm doing loads of work, get ready to be handed on Tuesday and Thursday. But yeah, after that, I'm a free bunny. I can do what they wish. But yeah, 
but that's this week's goal, just to do the logos. And then next week is when the proper goals start, because that's when I'm getting back on track. I'm telling you now, I promise you. Hand on heart. Right, that's this week done. It's quite a long episode, I feel. Uh, 16, 15? Nearly 16. No, 15, because the beginning part. Anyway, I'm going to finish this cup of tea before I start rambling on, rambling on again. All right, this was the Cup of Tea in the podcast. And that was the Cup of Tea. I've now finished the podcast. Ooh, that bottom bit tastes disgusting. Ugh. But yes, I will say goodbye now. So until the next time we meet, farewell. And what film? There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? <laughs>